Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out Paradine by Sky Ferret. Let's see, test subjects, you might have noticed we've been tinkering around with some science lately. We refer to it as fixed quantum tunneling. Yes, things might get a bit strange, but don't worry, you'll still get your 60 bucks. The lab guys say it's perfectly safe. There's four levels with cubes, buttons, funnels, and light bridges. Ah heck, we've even thrown in some teleporting. The lab guys are still up in the air about that one. Unless they've ended up in another dimension. Which has air, we hope. Easy to medium difficulty. That's unless you try to leave the test chamber the way you went in. We don't recommend that. Alright. Let's see what we're in for. Hey, there's a little radio back here. <laughs> Alright. And we can't pick it up, alright. Oh, that kinda looked like a face for a moment there. Next test chamber this way. No music so far, but that's fine. It's actually quite eerie. Hey! Hey! It's a world portals! Man, we gotta get Waffle to play this map! Waffle, check it out! If you're watching Waffle, play this map. Play this map. Play this map. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We got a little tiny pedestal button. Well, I mean a normal sized button with a tiny pedestal. Normal sized pedestal button with a tiny pedestal is what I mean to say. Alright, so... What actually do we want to do, though? Where does that go? Into the other room. Ah, we're gonna launch ourselves into the funnel. But what do we do with the cube? Uh, hmm. That is a good question, because that's got a fizzler on it right now. Alright, well, for now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna launch myself. Hey, did it. So now we go through the fizzler. And... Then what? What does this guy do? Oh, hey, it teleports me. Alright, that's what the teleportation is about. Alright, let's get in here, cube. Whee! And that... Wait. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe I didn't want to do that just yet. Oh no, I see. So, now... We just want to... Place black here, and green here. Ta-da! That's cool. Alright, what next? A little slanted hallway here. Are we going through any world portals yet? Oh! 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 There's a world portal! Let's see, what do we have here? Death? Mostly death, in case you were wondering. Ah, oh, I love that. That is... I love that. Let's see, does this door open? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh my... Oh, and it closed that time. <laughs> I like that. Alright, on to the next. Let's see... Got a light bridge. Not entirely sure what we'd use it for just yet. Let's get ourselves a regular cube. Put it on a regular button, which makes a regular sound, and activates a regular light bridge. These tiles do not look regular. Oh, that's spooky. What's up with this? It's not normal you see one of these just exposed. Like, normally you- you look behind a panel and this is what you see, but no, this is like literally right here. That's like Portal 1 stuff right there, except out in the open. Hey! Oh! Let's go look through over here. Yep! <laughs> I love that. This is exactly the kind of puzzle I want to play all day long. 
Let's see, so... Why do we want to see that? This makes me suspicious that it's, like, lined up like that. Alright, so for now, let's just head up here and see what we're working with. Wait, also, did I even... Did I even explore this little spot at all? Wait, does this look different than it did before? Am I imagining things? <laughs> did this button change stuff without me real- I thought this turned to the right! Okay, I guess I just looked at it wrong. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, oh, that's where the light bridge would have taken us. Alright. So, basically, we just want to avoid the fizzler, right? Yeah, because this is- yeah, okay. I see. Clever. Alright, let's go back in here. Take this. Put it there. Let's walk all the way over here. Portal there. Why is there a fizzler here? Oh, right, okay, so the button disables it. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter, we can just place our black portal there and take the cube through. Ta-da! We've done that. Interesting wart level design, though. Why are those panels a different color? That's strange to me. These. Things are getting weird. Activated. Hello. Right behind glass. Is this supposed to clue us in that we're looping? That looks like a loop to me. <laughs> oh, wow, wait, that looks different. Oh, wait, no, that's where we came from. Right? Wait, what? Hang on. That is different! Is it? I think this is different. Yeah, this is how I thought it looked initially. Yeah, like, this little area... Yeah, this is just normal geometry here now. Maybe the button did change things and I just wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, well, let's walk through here again and see if anything else is different. Oh, the door closed this time. Did it close last time, as well? Okay, things are different here. Okay. You may work with robots, but you can't take a bullet like one. Okay. There's a little spot here. Is that a teleport spot? We have an old aperture button, with a new aperture dropper and a new aperture cube. Anything interesting in here? Nope. Seems not. Okay, what do we want to do with this cube? I'm guessing. Hey, I saw the sparks. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Okay, then what? And it changes. It changes. Ooh, spooky. Can we see the seam? Yep, you can actually see the wall there, I think. Maybe. Depends on the geometry. So now we want the cube in here. Right? Is there a portal surface? Out here? Yes, there is. Okay, so we don't even need to walk in there, we can just press the button. And if we do walk in there and we get trapped in here, we can just press the button. It'll take us out here. Yep, now that's back. Again. And so now we do this. We look up here and see... Well, that's not at all what I expected to see. I guess we're seeing the- w I guess if we were to walk through there, we would walk through the world portal from behind? Alright. What do we have here? That's a really interesting looking water. Are we gonna come into a room from the side? Yep! <laughs> Love that. 
And, uh, we are back in here again, but... Based on my prior experience with this map... We just need to keep walking forward. Cause it's just messing with your head. Ah... So basically, it's just introducing the concept of... Flinging... With unexpected gravity changes. I assume. This is... interesting. I guess we drop down from there at some point. Yeah. Okay. So that's not useful to us right this second. But it is our eventual goal. So let's call a cube. Get the cube on the button. And then what? Oh, that changes this! Right. Ooh, okay. I wanna see that again. Yep, it's that. And then it's this. Yep. Cool stuff. So that gets us up here, and this reverses the funnel. Why would we wanna do that? This is gonna eventually be down. Right, right. So we don't actually need to fling, we just need to get the. I think. Yeah, so we do this. And then this. That gets us the cube, and we can uh, drop down. Fall down here, and since the funnel is reversed, we can press and place it there. That gets us up here, and then. Do things get strange? Oh! It's an elevator! Oh, that was a weird sound for an elevator. <laughs> a little... ...demonstration of the hard light bridges. With the- the light being pumped down from the surface. I like how they- they show the sun's molten core, <laughs> like you need to know that as useful information. I never really noticed that in that infographic before. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Well, guys, I think this is the end of the map, so as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation, uh, the two buttons below the video, that we might- yeah, it looks like these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!